We forgot Action Day. Yeah? Ow. We forgot Action Day. Yeah, you said that. Ow. What are we gonna do? Uh, not do Action Day? Watch your mouth. What's gotten into you? Five years, Chris. We've held Action Day every year for the past five years. And this year we did it. We didn't even make a trailer. We did make a trailer. We did? Yeah. Remember I had the Christmas music. Oh. We made a trailer and we didn't hold Action Day. There's a lot that goes into Action Day. For Action Day, we need a cool location. It's like the, the woods or a desolate looking parking lot or an abandoned railroad bridge. We need time to come up with a decent plot. The game's capture a flag or transmitting a message or fighting a supervillain. Why do you have these pictures printed? Hmm? These are very specific stills. Did you have this speech prepared? What? No. Do you have something against Action Day? No, not well, specific. Well, what then? I just like to do something different for a change. Oh. Do you not like Action Day? <sighs> Every year we say we're going to film something amazing. Then we end up at some public school parking lot or the backyard, scraping together whatever we can come up with in an hour. I mean, it's fun, I guess, but we have a green screen. And you know I can make anything in Blender. Why can't we go bigger? Actually make something amazing. Well, what did you have in mind? So there are these two detectives who've been recruited by this mysterious figure to work for the Villain Catchers Agency, a crime-fighting organization whose Tsunami approaches. Agent A dies out of the 11th story window, detached only by the world's longest iPhone charger, followed by the world's deadliest right assassin. in their tails, he must find a way to tank or be incinerated by the incoming append missile. His grip needs to be color right overcome. They dismantle the bomb to save the world and drive away in the most awesome fashion ever as the evil dictator's mansion explodes in the background. So what do you think? These are awesome, Chris. Do you really do this over Action Day? Heck yes, where do we start? Well, first we're gonna need 3D scans of actors once we get them. Why do you need to scan them? To make their CG stunt doubles. Computer models that'll be taking their place for the action pieces. Won't the actors be doing the action? Well, I guess we'll need to shoot brief close-ups of them reacting to stuff, but for maximum awesomeness, everything will be pure CG. See, that's why working on the computer is so much better than working with real people. CG images can be crafted perfection. Fake punches and kicks and screaming are cute, but if you want everything to be as awesome as possible, you have to have complete control. Uh-huh. Okay, change of plans. You want real punches and kicks and screaming? Uh, what are we doing? Action day. <laughs> <laughs>